Okay, so today's tutorial, we're going to talk about this uh, clone stamp tool in Blender. So starting in layout, you want to click on the area you want to clone. So I'll, for this tutorial, let's choose this, uh, the wings here. So these all are different objects. They have different uh, textures assigned to them. So I want to click on the texture that I want to manipulate. And then when I go into my texture paint, that should be selected by default, wings, matte, base color, JPEG. Yep, perfect. So push seven to go from above. And now um, you have your clone, clone tool here. Um, so it works a little differently in the 2D imager, in the 2D editor and the 3D editor. So I'm gonna show you 3D first, because that's probably more important for what we're doing. Uh, so the way it works is similar to Photoshop or any other way. Uh, just, you have to push control, you hold down control and left click. So if I want to left, if I want to copy clone this part, I control left click on that part. And then when I touch my left mouse, then it clones just like you would expect it to. Um, and you have all the same shortcuts apply. So I could use a bigger brush and I should mention Let's see, let me go back down. I should mention that it always restarts to wherever this cursor is. So let me, let me show you a better, another example. So if I click here, you have this down arrow. If I, as long as I keep the mouth, mouse held down, it'll keep cloning that area. Um, let me control Z for that for now. But if I click it once and let go and then click it once, it'll constantly just reset from that from that point. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind as you're painting. Um, there are some options. There are a lot of options down here. Uh, and again, you feel free to experiment with them all and you can hover over things for it to tell you what it, what it does. Um, so if I do this, it accumulates on top or it doesn't, um, et cetera. Um, and, but that's the main thing don't need to get too far in the weeds in this one. I just want to show you that you can use a clone stamp tool and that's how it works. Um, okay. So now on the 2d imager on the 2d image, you can't, unfortunately you can't just do the same thing. So if you wanted to say clone stamp the same part and put it right next to it, uh, I can't do control left click and it doesn't work that way. So, but one way it does work if I push and let me go, go ahead and, Actually, I'll do control space bar to make this full screen. Um, and I'm just using the regular shortcut. So holding down shift and middle mouse button to, to pan, zooming in and out with the middle mouse button wheel. So if I push in, it'll open up this menu over here. And the what you, your settings you have here are, um, if you go, so let's just say it's all closed. Brush settings, advanced, and then image, you can select an image. So you can select any image. I'm gonna select a different one just so you can see. With, when you select it, it'll bring it up here and it'll overlay on top of your image. So if you wanted to um, take this other image, I right click on my mouse to move it. Uh, and then you can shift right click. Oh no, you can't, so, all right. So right click and then move it wherever you want. Zoom in here. So if I wanted to stamp this on here, I could, could do that. And then if I move away, you can see what it does. Um, let's control Z. But I can also also show you that, you know, if you wanted to bring in this exact same engine, you could do that or the same, same texture. So this is wings. So you can overlay it and say we wanted that to be what we put on here. You can click and drag and then you're good. Now you see it also affected the image that we're uh, using. So that might not be a good, you might want to say if, if you really did need to use the same texture, you might want to save it as a different image and bring that image in. Um, and this is actually a lot more like the stencil function, which I'll, I'll do in another tutorial. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the basics. I don't, I don't want to go too far in the, in the weeds here because this is not an advanced tutorial. It's just to sort of show you how you can use the uh, clone stamp tool in Blender. And then when you're done, of course, make sure to save it. Go to image, save as, choose your preferred 
format. I'm going to go with PNG. I'm going to do impression zero, save it in textures, and I'll say save image. Now, I actually don't want to save it, so I'm not going to, but make sure you save. All right, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and hopefully this was helpful.